back to vlogging guys or at least I'm attempting to go back to vlogging it's been quite a while and I keep telling myself oh, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and then never do so I'm really hoping that you know it's a new month it's October it's the beginning of my favorite ever season which is autumn obviously um, and actually it's autumn the Christmas period the new year my birthday it kind of like you know yeah it's just a happy time of the year for me right now um so I thought it's a you know now is as good a time as any to start vlogging again um and I want I do want to document my fitness journey and just generally like what I'm up to um because I I enjoy making videos and no one really watches them like you're watching this but you know you are a select one of them, a very select few that watch this video <laughs> so uh so you know it feels like an exclusive club <laughs> but uh but anyway um i just wanted to yeah make make a video really and yeah i thought i'd just do a vlog because that's what i used to do quite regularly and see if i can just keep that momentum up so fingers crossed oh by the way i uh i went for a run this morning and I'm still very much at the beginning of my running journey. I'll talk about it a little bit more later, but just so you know, that's a thing now. I do lifting three times a week and running about two times a week. Sometimes it's one. There was one week where it was actually three times, but I think between one and two times a week is, is doable for me right now. But I really want to improve my cardiovascular health and I feel like this is a good way to do it. Um, it's so hard for, for someone that's a non-runner to start running. Wow. Uh, just wow. But um, I'm determined to keep practicing and yeah, keep at it. But I'll talk about that a lot more when I have a bit more time. It's almost nine o'clock. I need to make a cup of tea. Oh, no, I've already had a coffee. So I'll have a cup of tea, get started with work. I've got a workshop this morning. So most of my morning is going to be blocked out for work. But um the afternoon I think is a little bit clearer but um yeah I probably won't vlog until the end of my working day just because I'll be busy but I will catch you at some point maybe at lunchtime actually I might be able to pick up the camera at lunchtime depends how quickly I have to grab lunch depending on this workshop how how long it goes but if I have time I'll pick up the camera at lunchtime otherwise I'll see you later I've just finished one meeting. I've got another one in like an hour and a bit. So I'm gonna have some lunch. I don't know what yet, I think. Oh, I might just do smoked salmon on a bagel because I was kind of snacking throughout the workshop that I was just in, if I'm honest. So I had some pretzels, a serene bar. <laughs> I'm obsessed with serene bars at the minute. Um, my breakfast was <laughs> Nutella on toast. <gasps> wow, I really need some veg. Oh, I had some grapes. And then I know tonight I've got some, um, vegetables in my dinner because we're doing like a our version of a chili con carne it's not quite a proper chili con carne but uh there'll be carrot and onion in that but lots of protein today but anyway for lunch i'm gonna have just cream cheese um and salmon bagel but like the bagel thins as much as i love a big proper dense bagel they're very calorific so I'm gonna have just a stupid bagel thin, but it's the New York bakery ones. It's not like a Warburton's or a, you know another brand. It's like the New York bakery ones. And I feel like they taste nicer. It's probably just my stupid head. Uh, I feel like they taste nicer though. So anyway, I wanted to quickly talk about my run this morning. So I've been trying to run now for the, like the last month and a bit, I think. And I started off really well. I felt like I was making progress and all of a sudden I kind of, I found it hard. I don't know. I don't really get it. It's not like a very linear journey at all. It was like, oh, this is going well. Oh, this is really hard. Um, so I started off with like, just to see how far I could go. I ran a kilometer. And then that seems to be like this mental block for me now where I can only really do a kilometer at a time before stopping. 
And everyone I've said, that I've seen online are saying like the first mile is the hardest or the first kilometer is the hardest. Once you push past it, it feels a bit easier. I don't know if it's because your body's warmed up a little bit more, your muscles are already starting to work, the blood is pumping through. I, I don't know what it is, but I just still can't push really past that. So I know it's just a matter of practice. I know it's a matter of just training my body in order to do it, but it, it can feel quite disheartening, I think is the word. I don't know, but anyway, I went for my run. I didn't really have a goal. I just wanted to go out and see how I felt. I do find that the shoes that I'm wearing, I feel like they're good for running faster. The ones that I've got are the, I don't know. These are the ones I've got. I can't remember what they're called, but I don't know if they're right for me and my running style, at least right now. Maybe in the future I'll be able to wear them, but right now I just don't think they're right. So I've actually got an appointment later this week to go and get my running gait analysed. I know I'm going to feel so embarrassed, but I know it's important to do it. Um, but I think they'll get you on a treadmill, they'll watch how your foot lands, how I think maybe your like lower body just generally moves, I think, I don't really know. This is the first time I've ever had it done, but everything I've seen online is like, get it analysed and then get the proper shoes for your foot size, for the way you run, um, all that kind of stuff. So I've got that booked in. And that's on Thursday. I've got a couple of days off at the end of this week, so I'm going to get that done. I'm actually really excited. Um, I fully anticipate buying new shoes as well while I'm there, but I do get a discount because I'm a Vitality um, Life Insurance member, so I get, I think, up to 50% off. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I quite look forward to it. I'm determined to keep trying. Like, I'm determined to keep going in this journey. Like, even though I'm rubbish, even though people probably see me like, I'm sure she only just did that bit and now she's like <gasps> at the end, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to get better at it because I, 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 I don't like how unfit I am from a cardiovascular perspective. Like I love lifting weights, but my cardio health is just awful. So I want to be able to go to places and be able to walk to places and not be completely out of breath and actually enjoy being around in nature and like my other half he likes taking his little boy out to places and it's like it'd be nice if I could join in and not feel like a slow one at the back not being able to keep up sort of thing but anyway need to get my bagel on and then I've got a meeting which I've already prepped for so that's fine but still I want to just get into the right mindset before my meeting so see you probably after work <laughs> end of my working day I don't say thankfully because I do love my job but I'm also very ready for the evening put it that way so um it's taken all my willpower not to get into pajamas although to be fair this is a very comfortable jumper I love this jumper so much I want like a thousand more um I think I got it from like a supermarket I don't think I even got it from like a nice place it was just a big jumper and it's orange and I'm a pumpkin so before I like chill and relax for the evening, I wanna get some steps in. So I tend to try and get a walk in in the mornings and then maybe in the evening as well, or just in the morning and then I'll just potter around the house and make up the steps for the rest of the day. Um, I did run this morning, so my step count is higher than like a day where I'd just be lifting. So I'm currently at 6,500 steps. For someone that works from home, that's not that bad. Um, but that includes the run this morning. So I'll get on the treadmill. I'll walk for like maybe 20 to 30 minutes, maybe more if there's like a YouTube video that's particularly engaging. I need some kind of entertainment if I'm going on the treadmill. I could go outside for a walk, but I have a feeling I've got some deliveries coming and I can't remember if I do or not. And I'd rather just be here in case than miss something. Not that it really matters, but I don't know. I just don't like missing a delivery. So... And I've got a treadmill, might as well use it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get some steps in on my treadmill. I do find that now that I started running, my walking feels so much easier. And I think I'm losing a bit of weight as well, which also helps with the, um, like making walking seem a lot easier as well. So I am determined to keep that up. I don't want to slow down over autumn and winter because that's usually my old bad habits would be, Oh, I'll just go into hibernation mode and I'll source, you know, I'll think about it in the new year. It's like, I need to just think about it all the time. 
<laughs> and like stay active and there's this thing of like if you don't use it you lose it and I don't want to keep going back to square one over and over again every January the 1st so I'm determined to just keep that momentum up that's not to say I'm not going to indulge every now and then like today I had a rice cake with chocolate um, orange on it I could have just stopped at one but I had to and you know I know that's not the same as having a takeaway or like a giant you know bag of Maltesers or something I'm not going to say no to a bag of Maltesers but it's how frequent I do those things is the key <laughs> and, uh, and I'm trying to form these good habits where I'm not just eating junk all the time but I'm not completely restricting it either like I want to have that balance because if I could do what I've been doing for the past say week if I can apply that to every week for the rest of my life Am I going to go crazy or is that sustainable? At the minute, it's sustainable. It's not the best, as in, yes, I could eat more veg or yes, maybe I could, um, you know, have more protein or, um, you know, maybe every now and then I do indulge a little bit on the, on the chocolatey stuff or the sweets or whatever. But overall, it's still sustainable and it's still within my calories. Like, I'm still making sure I hit my ta calorie targets, my... I try and aim for to hit my protein, but it's not always, a, you know, I don't always hit it, but I try. Um, and it's just keeping the momentum up and just trying. I think that's the thing for me, it's just like, keep trying every day. I might not be as good as I was the other day, or I might be better than I was the other day. I don't know, but I'll be, if I don't try at all, then I'm deaf, like I've already failed. So that's a mentality I'm trying to keep. But yeah, I, I've taken my wig off. I tend to only wear my wig when I'm working and like have meetings and stuff, uh, just to look a bit more presentable. Like my actual hair is just a bit rubbish at the minute. Like the styling is terrible. And if I just have my hair in a ponytail, I just look like an egg on camera. So I like to wear a wig just cause it's, it's quick. I don't have to just think, you know, I can just sling on a wig. I don't have to worry about styling it or anything. I just pick a style and, and wear it. So that's quite handy. Um, I will do a separate video actually on like my hair and stuff. Um, it is getting, it's better than it was. Um, if you haven't already seen that video, I'll, I'll link it in the description about my hair experience, I guess. Uh, but I will do an update properly. I've got like quite greasy hair at the minute and my hair is a little, like my scalp is a little bit dry. So I've just chucked it up in a ponytail. But you can see it's, it is growing. Like I can put it in a ponytail, which is quite cool. And I've just put this on just to cover up the grease. <laughs> but I do need to wash my hair. Uh, and I'll, I'll do another video about what products I'm using um, because I found a new like three-step like shampoo, conditioner, serum kind of trio. And it seems to be making a difference. It's still not perfect. But I don't expect it to be perfect. It had a lot of damage over quite a long period of time um, when I was going through my very kind of bad skin phase, let's just call it. So um, yeah, I, I think at some point it will recover, but it's just taking a long time. Um, but I'll do a whole other video on that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about my hair and stuff and I'll try and answer it in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it now. I'm gonna chill out for the evening, I'll get dinner ready. I'll potentially be gaming with my other half when he gets home from work. Um, just a general, nice, calm, chilled evening, hopefully. But yeah, other than that, I will go and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be so long between videos. Hopefully you'll see me soon, like before 2024 would be good. I'm hoping, maybe next week or the week after, but we'll see. I don't want to promise. So the problem I have is that the, the, the vlogging doesn't take the time. It's the editing that takes the time because I want to find the nice music, I want to put some titles on, I might have to put some text on somewhere, write the description. Like there's more, you know, that goes into to creating content. Uh, but I do love it. I just need to make sure I make the time for it. 
I need to be a bit more like strategic basically about my editing time but I, I'm determined to do it um I just I just need to work out when and try and schedule it in and make it a regular thing so that like I don't know every Wednesday I have like an hour where I'll edit or you know I don't know I don't know but I'll work it out I'll make it happen I want to make more content I want to make it more regular and document different parts of my life my fitness journey potentially the wedding um just yeah just life I enjoy it I enjoy documenting my little corner of my you know the universe so hopefully you will enjoy it and if you're watching this video please leave a comment because I'd love to know who's watching and you know come up with like a random fact about yourself and just share it in the comments just so I get to know you uh, and to know who is watching my videos and if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up would very much appreciate it but anyway enough rambling I'm gonna go get comfy and I will see you in the next video bye Thank you.